Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Being a Fine Figure. Today we are going to be taking a look at an old Marvel Legends classic, uh, The Punisher. I believe this is from 2015. I came across it in one of my favorite uh, comic book stores uh, and toy stores, uh, Emerald City Comics and Toys. And I've been debating for a while to open it. I just haven't got around to it, but um, the day is finally here. So we are going to uh, open this up. Um, you know, fitting, seeing as though lately the G.I. Joe craze and Valiverse craze, well, I figured, hey, why not open up another uh, badass um, vigilante type um, dude? So without further ado, I am going to get the, the Punisher out of the packaging and I will be right back. All right, so the Punisher is out of the packaging here. Um, I believe this figure was a Walgreens exclusive uh, back in the day. And um, I never had a Punisher, so um, once I saw it, I knew I had to get it. Um, it's the only thing missing from my, my collection. I mean, I don't have a vast, huge collection, but um, it, it's getting there and, you know, these figures here and there, they're sometimes very hard to go to come across but at the same time you know you can find them on places like ebay and stuff and people want an arm and a leg for them and i don't pay overpriced um i myself have a channel on youtube i mean i'm sorry on ebay and i don't overcharge i mean when i if i don't grow fond of a figure i put it up there for a fair price uh sometimes even at retail or sometimes even less depending who the figure is i'm not much of a scalper i don't believe in um uh, over gouging prices on, on especially on a plastic toy so um let's quickly go over the accessories here um and it has this nice uh i mean white tommy gun style uh, machine gun i think um i'm not too crazy about the color of uh, being all white um so i mean i don't know where in any story of the punisher it might have come from uh, but yeah but yeah, there, there you have it. So, yeah, I guess I will not be using that much. Um, it does come with this uh, small bazooka type um, RPG. It's nice to done. It has some pretty good details to it. Um, I thought this might come out. Maybe. No. Oh, I mean, the way they do this, it looks nice. Double barrel there. Yeah, nice little scope there has some pretty fair detail and then it comes with this huge assault weapon love the two colors uh, so it's a nice handle up top yeah and then it comes uh it doesn't come with hands um but it does come with uh an alternate head um there's a nice little stubble there five o'clock shadow um i wish they could have uh, done it all the way it kind of here it kind of ends there, <laughs> as opposed to this side, it actually takes more of the face, but the skull, for 2015, that's actually not too bad. Um, it is missing some paint apps on the head. You can see the skin tone of the head, um, but hey, you know, maybe he was growing bald. Again, they missed a lot of uh, paint details there. I don't know if it's because it's an old figure being in the package for that long. Um, I mean, the package was pretty beat up, but it was still sealed with the original tape and everything. And, and the box was starting to lose a little bit of the color. So um, maybe the figure too. Uh, and then here's on to the figure. Uh, not too crazy about the bandana. I'm, I, obviously, I'm going to be displaying it with this head. But I wish they would have had that look on this face. Instead of the serious here, no emotion look here. Um, and then they have it here with this this it's not too crazy about it but other than that it's not a bad looking face sculpt it's nicely detailed and again for uh, 2015 it's actually not bad and then the hair you can see the uh, nice detail on the hair the way it's combed it's got no messed up on the paint app as far as like this one this one looks like an older version slick back and you can see the top of the head and then, yeah, nice detail, simple. Again, decided to open it up. Um, it actually scales very well with the uh, G.I. Joe and the Valiverse. So it'll be good to uh, take some pictures, do something with it. Um, 
yeah, it's nice, nice looking again for the time and that they had this figure. Um, it looks a lot better than a lot of the figures that they have out there today. Um, it has doesn't have butterfly, but it has uh, double jointed elbows and knees. Uh, nice detail on the boots. Uh, nice detail on the uh, belt and the. Uh, Utility pockets there, and the nice good grenades there. Um, even the bullets there are nicely detailed there. No paint apps. Um, uh, it's just a they, well, I thought that was a mistake, but it's not. I like the way that they, uh, the belt here, how it goes in. It actually, oh, oh, one of the old style click at the waist there. That's can't get much movement as far as the side of the legs, but it's got all the necessary articulation for posing. So, yeah, and like I said, um, actually, let's, uh, yeah, I like this. I like that. That's a, that face better. It should have looked better with the scrubble in there without the bandana. Yeah, this one here doesn't look, kind of looks too small for the, for the body. It makes the neck now stand out even more. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you guys, I mean, I'm sure you guys have it. No, uh, yeah, probably not, I guess it's the same. I mean, it looks, this one definitely looks better. I'm just not too crazy about the bandana. Um, and then, uh, this one here looks a little thin, but it's still Frank Castle. So um, I wish they would have had an extra set of hands, some fisted hands or but I guess that'll do. And um, like I said, it's it scales very well with the um, Valiverse. We have uh, bring into the frame one of my my favorite uh, Valiverse figures, uh, Trigger. As you can see they they, they scale very well. Um, as far as GI Joe, it's, uh, I guess who I have available. I have uh, the suitcase so. Let's see how they, yeah, it scales very well with bazooka, so that is, uh, I mean, obviously bazooka is a little bit bigger. The body on bazooka is very muscular and built, so, but he scales very well with the, with the G.I. Joe and Valor, so yeah, he'll, he'll, I see some uh, nice photography coming in the future with these figures, so, but yeah, there you have it, guys. Another figure opened, um, you know, thankfully I have a nice uh, comic book store not too far from where I live and they um, you have a, an array and a big selection of old figures, old Marvel Legends and, you know, old Mattel figures and whatnot and, you know, it's always good to walk in there and I always find something. Um, I think I also, f I found my old man Logan, I found Cowboy Wolverine also, um, which I'll be uh, opening that soon unboxing that too um you know all these figures that when i wasn't collecting at the time i may have been able to find it there at a very very reasonable price i mean and, and the guys there they're they're very good very nice and they uh they, they take care of their customers so so another unboxing down uh check and as always guys thank you for the support uh, thank you i've just uh, recently reached 200 subscribers it's a huge win for me personally thank every single one of you and as always Continue to take care of each other, continue to be a fine figure, and I will definitely see you later. Mm -hmm.